I actually want to say this in defense of black women. They're most loyal to black men. They will die for black men. And they've loved me the most, period. Like, so I said, every, I, look, I said everything that I said, but these women will stop going on a girl's trips to be with a black man. Right. You know, so like they like they that is the case. But the thing is, and it's not fair. Black women experience racism. They experience all of these different things. But guess what? The other women don't. So they're ready to be submissive. They're ready to just they, they have no care in the world. They, they just it's, it's just easier to be with them. And again, it's not fair, but it's just reality because black women have it the hardest in the world. So when it comes time to marriage, the white girls and the Asian girls is easy to do it because they don't need to heal. But if you want to be with a black woman, you have to walk her through like you have to be really be part of her journey. Let me tell you something. I ain't got to do a goddamn thing for another human being that refuse to respect my, my, you know, to respect my, my, my fucking existence and shit. Okay. I don't want to hear this shit in 2023. Okay. I'm going to come hard on you fucking, you beta male simps and shit. Okay. I'm going to come hard on your fucking ass and shit. I understand the play on words and shit. Please don't go there and shit. Okay. I was just sitting here watching this shit, waiting for this nigga to start crying and shit, man. To start crying and shit. And, and you know, to be, be honest and shit, you know, metaphorically speaking, not for real, but metaphorically speaking, you know, sitting, if I'm sitting in front of him and he was saying all this shit and getting ready to tear up and cry and shit, I put a baseball mitt on my fucking hand and smack him. All right, smack him. Metaphorically speaking, okay, not real. Okay, just how I feel. That's how I feel in my heart, man, when I hear shit like this. And I know, and I know they created all of these fucking guys. They sit up and complain about the shit. And we're supposed to handle them with kid gloves. We're supposed to be understanding. When we, we grew up in the fucking system, they created the shit. I'm not just talking about these fucking matriarchal households where they were sitting on your fucking ass, stifling you. Stopping you from becoming who you were supposed to be and shit. Killing your future before you even thought about having one. I don't want to hear this shit in 2023. Alright? I'm going to ride your fucking bumper just like I ride these, these Miss Sandra's you know, into the ground. I just roll on them and shit, man. I just roll on them. It's bullshit. Okay? What you're talking about is bullshit. Okay? If they want some help with their issues, they can do the same shit they was telling us in 2022 with fucking Shabria Rolls. They were telling us, oh, go get therapy because you're the problem. But you're sitting here in your femininity and shit, which you're probably wearing some panties and shit. You're sitting here telling us the opposite. That we need to be understanding of their underlying issues and shit. Are you kidding? You know, everything you said, if everything you said, you said was true, then how do you account for some of the overt, nasty, cruel, cruel behavior, inhumane, inhumane behavior that we saw in the past couple of years and shit? How they gleefully rejoice when one of us goes down to bullets or, or defamation of character or both and shit. Going into the present industrial, uh, you know, complex and shit. You know, unfairly. How they champion the worst of themselves. Who embody the worst of what a woman is. So, fuck. Man, who the fuck are you, man? Now, cry me a river, motherfucker. Cry me a river. You know? Are you in and out, you know? Are you in and out of that motherfucking closet? Okay? You beta males. These women are for you, okay? These are your women. You deal with them, okay? You you be their therapist and shit. They're not looking for husbands, okay? They're looking for uh, enablers, okay? Enablers, all right? I'm not saying no hateful shit. 
But if you know, if no woman, if you know, if a guy going through shit these days, you know, emotional shit, psychological shit, feeling the weight of the world on his hands. You know what women tell us? They say, "I ain't your mother. I ain't your mama." That's what they tell us and shit. So we're going to tell them, I ain't your daddy, okay? And you ain't got no fucking ring on your finger and don't expect one. Get your shit together so that your illegitimate children will have a chance at having a decent relationship because the niggas in your age group got a fucking passport and got the fuck out of here. And the people that are still here, they don't give a shit. They ignore your fucking ass, man. They ready to look at that idiot box and shit. They ready to look at their fucking phones. They ready to look at their goddamn laptops and shit. And just let, uh, you know, whatever this fucking system is, this goddamn matrix we live in, just let it take its course and shit. Do you realize what the fuck you're talking about? That the women you're 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 crying for, they created their own shitty ass problems. But you're not man enough. Okay, you can't handle a black woman and shit. You are not what they want. You're not what they need. They need masculinity. They need a man to look them in the eye and tell them no.